Lenovo comes with its own performance customization software known as the Lenovo Vantage software. It provides tools for performance optimizations, aesthetic modifications, updates, general tweaks, and also various stats for the laptop. It serves as a great one-stop window for many useful day-to-day -day usage features, so you don't have to hover here and there to use them. In this video, we will go through every available option in this software. On the home page, we can see CPU usage, GPU usage, VRAM usage, and storage overview. On the right side, we have the main options, the first one being thermal mode, which decides how much power the laptop is going to use. It gives us three options, balance mode, which is the laptop's default mode at which the laptop balances between giving good performance while keeping the laptop relatively quiet. This mode is good for almost everything that a regular user needs. The next is performance mode. At this mode, the laptop performs at its maximum level by drawing maximum power it is able to draw. It gives a massive boost in the performance of the laptop, so the fans run at maximum speed to reduce the heat generated from the maximum wattage used by the laptop. Hence, this mode is really noisy and make sure to wear headsets or earphones while gaming at this mode. This mode is good for demanding games to increase FPS and is also good for tasks like 3D modeling where the workload is too heavy. Next is quiet mode. In this mode, the laptop uses least power to provide cool and quiet environment and increases the battery usage time. It is suitable for situations like watching movies, office work or such work which does not require much computing power and requires a quiet environment as this doesn't use much power and thus fans don't need to run very fast to cool it. It is especially good for traveling or in cases the laptop charging is not an option. GPU overclock feature lets us run the DGPU at its maximum TDP of 140 watts and thus helps unlock the maximum potential of the DGPU that is needed by the user for maximum performance. Network boost option helps us to prioritize bandwidth of the internet connection towards selected apps. This helps to get maximum internet speed to selected apps to provide a lag-free experience. This is especially helpful for meetings, video calls, and gaming where focus on a particular work is needed and it does not let background apps draw unnecessary bandwidth. The next is GPU working mode. This option is the MUX switch of Lenovo laptops. It helps to bypass Optimus to provide maximum FPS by using their DGPU to render the frames. To understand more about the MUX switch, click on the link here or in the description. This mode gives us following options. Hybrid mode uses both DGPU and iGPU, wherein DGPU renders the frame through iGPU to save power, and this mode is mostly used in normal working scenarios. Hybrid iGPU mode only. This mode turns off the DGPU and only uses the less power iGPU. This mode is especially useful if you are not using the laptop for any graphic intensive work and need to save power as this option turns off the DGPU which reduces power input drastically. Hybrid Auto Mode In this mode, the laptop's AI decide which type of GPU mode the user needs, iGPU only, DGPU only or a mixture of both. This mode is especially good for scenarios where you need to change the type of workload and power supply modes frequently so you don't have to change GPU modes again and again. The next is DGPU mode only. In this mode, the iGPU is completely bypassed and only DGPU is used to render the frames. This mode will give you the maximum performance as the more powerful DGPU will be used without the bottleneck of significantly less powerful iGPU. This mode will use more wattage and a heavier charger is must to use this mode, else the power will drain very fast. Overdrive mode helps to reduce screen latency that is the time gap between when a gunshot is fired and when it is displayed on the screen. It makes screen respond quicker to the changes in the game environment. This mode is especially good for eSport players where players need real-time response times. Touchpad lock can lock the touchpad to avoid accidental touches only when gaming. Alternatively, you can also disable it by pressing function plus F10 key on the keyboard. But it will disable it totally, not only while gaming. Rapid charge mode helps to charge the laptop very quickly by allowing higher power input. Legion comes with its own RGB control software known as Legion Spectrum which helps to customize the lighting of the RGB keyboard. It gives options to have three different color profiles which can also be cycled by pressing function plus spacebar. It has five effects including static effect, breathing effect, smooth effect, 
wave left effect and wave right effect all the effects are good and smooth except wave effect which is not smooth like other laptops and keyboards all these effects can be adjusted over two brightness levels and four speed levels but there are no shortcut keys to adjust brightness or speed it has to be done by opening the vantage software only next is macro key function which can be used to define a shortcut key for a particular set of recorded actions for example i created this macro to turn off the internet on pressing number one hotkey the next option available is the power settings it shows the battery warranty status battery health and battery temperature an option for rapid charge can also be found here conservation mode which basically keeps the battery at 75 to 80 percent capacity when plugged in which increases the battery life as it doesn't overcharge the battery it is a very smart feature that most laptops don't have flip to start which turns on the laptop as soon as you open the lid and doesn't require the power button to be pressed always on usb which again is a very smart feature that most laptops don't have this feature basically lets us use one USB type A port on the back side to charge other devices like phones even when the laptop is turned off. However, this means that it will draw power from battery of laptop and reduce the battery backup. Audio settings which helps to turn microphone of a laptop on or off and also helps to control the input volume of the microphone. Input and access, this function allows us to switch between function keys and special function keys. However, this can also be done by pressing function plus escape button. Super resolution, this feature can be found in advanced settings in power options. This option basically increases the resolution of any video that plays, basically videos that have low resolution natively. However, this function draws quite some power and is not advisable to use when on battery. Legion Arena. This is a good feature for gamers as it connects all the gaming accounts like Steam, Epic Games, etc. and can be accessed at this one point. Although this software provides great features, but there are some limitations of this software. This software does not provide any fan speed control options as of now. You have to rely on given thermal profiles to do the job which the laptop decides. This can be done through third party apps though, but it is not recommended. There is no voltage control to undervolt the laptop. Undervolting is a great way to take control of the temperatures of the laptop in high performance tasks. But there is no option of direct voltage control in this software. Again, there are third party apps to do so, but they are fairly complicated and not at all recommended to use unless you absolutely know what you're doing. Otherwise, you can damage your laptop. It does not provide any option for making custom profiles for laptop's performance. It does not provide any support for G-Sync. The setting for enabling or disabling G-Sync is not available in the Vantage software and one has to open NVIDIA settings to avail the option. I feel given that this software is primarily used in gaming and high performance laptops, it should contain the G-Sync button. It provides very little RGB control with limited effects and options, but that may also be due to hardware limitations. To conclude, the Lenovo Vantage software is pretty decent software that provides much needed information to the user like stats and flexibility to user to tweak the performance of the laptop according to their needs. In my experience, this is one of the best customization softwares only seconded by Asus's Armory Create software. If you like this video and information shared in it, please like the video, comment to suggest any improvements and subscribe for more tech videos. In the meantime, check out our other videos that might interest you.